Hey guys, Bruder here, welcome back to Out of All. Here we are for, it's going to be the start of a new series, I guess, to run alongside our other one. Maybe we'll return to that eventually, but um, the story is, I've left our other mine to one of our one of our workers. He's over there, still working it while we're over here. We've just moved to Alaska, middle of nowhere, full of snow. Alaska, inverted commas, I don't know if Alaska looks anything less, but a snowy spot. Anyway, um... Just moved to here, we're gonna set up our own little underground mine through this big mountain here. I've just chose this mountain over here and I'm gonna head this direction. Haven't really got anything planned other than, um, I think, steel, I, I wanna, I don't know if I wanna use wood to start with or, I just don't like the look of the wood. It's way cheaper, but I don't like the look of it. I'm not gonna do it, let's go concrete. Uh, and before we do that, we need to get a million dollar loan. So once again, we've left everything back over there, the business, the equipment, our worker, all of our money. Moved to Alaska, starting fresh. And hopefully we can um, get enough stuff here so we can sort of start to get set up. Right, so I want to get that straight away. I want to grab maybe 10 conveyors early on. And the rest of the stuff we'll look at um, as we need it, but... So I definitely want to dig this direction, but in saying that, I want to go level with the ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig down. And I want the conveyor to sort of come out this way. But I said I want it to be level with the ground. So let's go down a little bit further. It's probably a little bit too low. I want it to be just above. Uh, let's go say somewhere like that. Doesn't look too bad, then we'll just throw obviously our blocks the whole way around to get this started. Um, actually, I want to go whoops, I want to go with two conveyors, so let's get that back out. I want to head this direction roughly, so around about there. Yep, that looks pretty good. Alright, so get these guys put down. I want to dig out just down the side of it because we're going to need to put a block here and then a block below. It allows us to put another one of these guys. Nope, got to do it at the other end. Alright, don't make the same issue we did or the same mistake we did in one of our previous plays on our other series. Let's not do that again. Right, so down below, get that. Throw that. That should be that way, same as the other one. Uh, let's let's double check let's double check that. I want to put that there. I want to make sure. Yep, yeah, it's going the right way. Perfect. Right, let's minimise a little bit of the dirt around here. I don't want to take too much away. The dirt, I should say snow. Alright, so we still want to head this direction, and it's going to be an underground mine, same as what we've done before. Um, bring these straight out. Once again, I want to just level it a little bit. Probably should have went up a little bit higher. I didn't realise it was so low back here. Alright, so now I'm sort of thinking, how are we going to join these two together? So we want these two, at this point in time, go into one. So, uh, I'm going to buy production. I'm going to go with one conveyor up um, and a conveyor right. No, two conveyor rights. There we go. So from here, let's say this one will go up. This guy will go straight. We will... Set the time of day to 6 a.m. Uh, about 7, 8 a.m. So we can actually see. Right, so this guy will go up. Then we'll turn him to the right as well. Now we need to expose this guy. Now, with this guy, I want to turn him right as well. Uh, let me change something. There we go. 
So I turn this right. And we want to go this way. So now that will fall. Uh, we might need to put another extension on it. Yeah, I think another extension would be good. That'll fall down onto this. Now we need to obviously enclose that um, as best we can. So we're going to need to buy a little bit of a little bit of steel mesh to start with. Uh, let's just go. Twenty of you. Not that. Twenty of you, and I want to go. Uh, maybe four of these guys. And two of each of these. I don't know which ones we're going to need, but ah, that'll do. Right, so this, we want to have this attached to that as a square. Now, I don't know if we can actually... Actually, let's get rid of that, put that there, and we could probably... Yeah, do that. That's better. I thought we could actually... Maybe not. Thought we could actually change it. Put one so it was facing the other direction, but I don't think we can. All right, let's go up here. Once again, we want to make sure we're leaving uh, enough room for things to sort of spawn. Right, I want that one there. Get rid of that. So that'll open that up, and I want to actually expand these guys out a couple extra, just like this, and down, down, and then we also want to change, like close that in go there, I'll go back around the other side, close that in, and then up here we want to change these guys. Can I actually put that on there? Yeah, we can. Cool. That can go there. Change that one out for this one. And put that... Ooh, no, they're both the same. Didn't think they would be. There we go. Perfect. That should hold them in. Now, once again, I want to make sure that it goes down completely so it can't sort of pop out the side here. And then we need to go... Uh, across the front. So we need uh, two more. So buildings, steel mesh, we want to go two more walls. Uh, right, that one there, that one there, that should uh, page that up pretty well. I don't think anything should pop out of there. If we wanted to, we could also extend it out, make it a bit wider and actually you know, put these guys in, but we'll see how we go initially to start with. Um, next thing I want to do is I want to buy um, the CTM 1600S. That's going to take up a lot of our cash. I want to get that airdrop straight in. Of course it's facing the wrong way. Right, so we're going to have two and it's going to go straight into one. Now what I'm sort of thinking as well is that we need to get the length of this guy, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so maybe I want to go 9 wide at the front here, which is going to take forever to do that, um, I don't know how it's going to go, but that's sort of what I'm aiming for, to go 9 wide as our main sort of corridor, and then from there we can sort of just go like thinner corridors either way, I don't know, I'm still sort of just thinking about it, planning it in my head and seeing what we can sort of do. Um, Alright, so now we need to set up our production facility, which I'm a bit bummed that we're going underground here, but we can come back and dig this out as we need to. Alright, let's get rid of this mesh stuff. We'll keep those, we'll sell those because we don't need them. No, down there. Right, concrete blocks, we're going to need a lot more of those. Conveyor straights, we're going to need more. But what I want to get now is um, production. We want our sorter. 
Um, so jaw crusher, blaster rocket to crush rock. Cone crusher is crush rock into gravel. And then after that we want... Uh, I don't know if we need another sorter. Dirt and paint it. No, we don't need an extra sorter. Uh, cone crusher. And then the fractioner takes in crushed rock and pops all that out. Done. We also need a wash plant. Right, so now we need to look at we want this to sort of run where we want it to run. Uh, that's going to go there. So I'm thinking we sort of want it to come back this way. So I think maybe we'll go buildings production double left hander. Double left. So turn this around completely. Throw in this guy, which once again it's under the ground, which sucks, but I'd like to put a, a proper floor in here, but we may need to just get a bit, bit of money in first before I start to build like a proper building. Alright, so that's going to come out of there. This is going to come out of here, but I think I want to go uh, buildings. Production. I want to go turn right. Uh, I think once conveyor. We need conveyor up into that and then into storage. All right. So if we turn right here, actually maybe even we go right left, right and then a left as well. It'll just sort of spread them out. Uh, let's. Open this guy up a little bit. We want to go up out of there. We want to throw our wash plant on the back of that. It'll come down and we want to throw that straight into our storage. Right, so I know that looks kind of all out of whack. We probably went easier to build like a base first. But when you're starting out this early, you just don't have the funds for it, so... Right, let's just dig some of this away. I'm not. I want to try and use this tool as little as possible, but saying that, obviously, we're going to need to do a lot of it here. We're going to have to come through maybe and just blast some of it. I think with the the draymite, I think it is, which will just remove all the overburden around it. Right, perfect. So that's that's that so that's set up. That's for our pay dirt and stuff. So this guy will come out of here. Uh, we wanted to go into the jaw crusher, bone crusher, fractioner. All right, so we're going to need to go and get at least four conveyor ups. Uh, 255 left, so we've still got a decent amount of money. So conveyor up, up there. This guy is going to go straight onto there. I wasn't sure if I wanted to... I think I, I did want to. I wanted to sort of put this in here, up there, that back. Actually, no, I want to go two left-handers first. I just want to keep it sort of tight, so it's not sort of all over the place. So go double left, get you in there. Uh, let's go there, fractioner. And then storage, which will be... Actually, do we do it the other way? So put an extension on there first. Go double left. The crusher. The fractioner. And our storage here, so they're side by side. That's probably better. So they, when we go in, we're sort of right next to each other. Right, uh, convey storage, done. I think grab that there, perfect. So everything we get now should go straight into here. It should link up from two to one, pump in through here. The pay dirt will come out here, get washed. The dirt, or the rock will come up here, get uh, crushed, and then get crushed again, then get put through the fractioner, and then finish up just here. 
I think having that storage side by side is pretty good, but yeah, obviously, eventually, I'm going to level this whole area so it's the one height, but for now, this is sort of what we're going with. All right, let's uh, come into here. We're going to need to get a few more uh, conveyor straights. So let's go with nine. I don't want to buy too many because they are bloody expensive. And we also need to get some sides down here. So we need to buy some concrete uh, blocks. They're expensive too. Let's go 48. That'll give us 50 in total. Um, and we need some sides like this, which I'm thinking they're only a temporary thing. We're not going to leave them there permanently, I don't think. So let's just grab... Um, I don't know, let's just go 50 of these guys for now. Alright, perfect. And then we obviously throw in conveyor, conveyor there. Let's get our money out of our account. Throw this guy in here, and we're going to just pretty much dig straight from here. I don't even know if I really need these guys at the moment, because nothing should fall out of the sides, but I guess you never know. I just want to build this up the whole way along. Perfect. All right, let's get started. Let's get um get some digging going. All right, so we want to make sure we're reasonably square as always. Lower ourselves down, but not too far down. And we'll start digging straight away. That should be getting chucked straight in. You can see it dropping out, getting processed straight away. So nice, quick, and easy. So as I said, I want to go. I want to try and go nine wide for the entrance to the mine. This whole thing here, we may end up even moving it. Like I'm not really sure yet. The processing plant. We may move it somewhere else. All right, get that put in. I think that should be pretty good. It's annoying that we can't sort of level out underneath underneath the machine, but I understand why. Right, let's come into here and go buy parts, lights. Don't really need a beacon. I think I need four of these guys and then one extra large. The vehicle options. It's hard to find the right spots. A 13, I think. Yeah, that's perfect. 15, 16, 17, 18. Yep, okay, so... 15, 16. Hold shift and drag to, to change those guys as well. Perfect. Right. Throw some lights on. I think it's still daytime. It's just extremely dark, obviously. Right, so we try and stay reasonably straight. It's not going to matter too much because we're going to widen this thing right out, but hopefully we'll run into um, a coal vein, maybe um, some rock. Like, I don't really know what we're sort of going to hit. Now, this map previously would have been extremely hard because you just sort of having to buy a loader, having to buy a digger. This underground equipment just makes it so much easier. We can dig through this reasonably bloody quick, which is really good. Yeah, I don't think we need those sides. I wasn't sure if I was going to go with wood or stone, oh sorry, concrete. For the design of the mine, I want. I really want to do wood, but I just don't like the look of it. It doesn't look like how a mine would be supported by wood. It was more of a log. It was more of a log look and not just... Why can't I get up on this thing? Um, if it was more of a log look... There we go. I think I'd be much happier, but it, it's more of a building wood rather than a supporting style wood, so I'm not keen on 
you know, building with it. Oop. Make sure you turn the machine on first. We may get a few cave-ins here, but... I think we're going to shore up the roof, but not worry too much about... Um, the sides. Maybe buy some wood and just have some temporary... Temporary sides going on. I'm going to back all the way out, that way we can level this a little bit better. So it's still processing, still dropping in. It's perfect, it's exactly what we want. Right, drop these guys in. I think I might actually come back and... Um, dig one side out. That way I've got enough room to walk around the machine. So come right back to the start. And then obviously once we... Um, once we look at... Trying to get around this bloody corner. Uh, well, I lost my train of thought then. I don't even know where I was going. Get sidetracked pretty easy. Um, yeah, so get this side dug out. That way we've got somewhere to walk around. We might, as I said, put in some temporary structures. So get rid of that. Grab some of this steel mesh. I'm going to buy uh, some more steel mesh. I think we need... Oh, oh 82. Can we do 999? Nine, nine, nine? That'd be great if we could. Um, and some wood. I'm going to probably buy a max stack of wood. Yeah, perfect. Alright, so that way we can shore up the sides just with wood. Similar to what we've done before, we'll just every five we'll put wood and then we'll put mesh the whole way along. Then obviously we'll blast it again. Get everything brought back down and in. Right, so we can sort of doesn't matter how we run along the side of this track. I just want to open it up. So yeah, the processing is definitely working. We haven't got any stone or anything just yet that I can see. There's some pay dirt there we're just sort of coming into in the bottom. That's really what we need to get into. We need to get into the bloody pay dirt. And then hopefully eventually get into some proper rock or a coal vein or another sort of vein, some other vein we can find as we get further through. Right, so that's sort of linked up the other side. Come back, I need to sort of straighten up our tracks. Sort of just want to stay inside. from there to there that's pretty well straight I think or close to it uh, just got to quickly change screens again for a second sort of trying to watch the football and record at the same time just seeing how many with 24 minutes so we'll go for another 10 minutes I think and hopefully we can hit a decent vein somewhere So I'm not too worried about going any wider like we have previously. I just want to go back so that way we've got enough room to walk around the machine. But as I said, nine blocks wide is going to be tough to get to. Alright, so we go all the way back. Jump out. Now we've got room to walk, room to work. Uh, got to throw... Ooh, we run out of conveyors. 125k. Okay. How many conveyors are we going to be able to get for that? Ooh, not hoppers. Don't buy those stupid things. That'll cost us a fortune. Uh, say 20. Yeah, 20 will do. It'll keep us out of trouble for a little while. 
Right, so get this done. Now I want to go back and start shoring up this roof. So if we start, say here. Uh, we should be able just to go straight up there. I think that's going to be, is that high enough? Yeah, I don't think we need to go any higher than that really. Right, just ooh, actually there's a bit of a rock vein there didn't last very long but that's something that we can see now we know it's there that's something that we can chase once we get further in we can start chasing it it's the wrong side no don't want to do that all right perfect so we'll head down that way as i said we'll uh, go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I think we should be able to put that in without too much of an issue. Yeah, it's a bit tight, I think. I think we need to make it a bit wider than that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of how tight that actually is, so we might have to come back and adjust. Plus, it's not very helpful with the... Um... ...with the camera either. Makes it bloody difficult. Right, can we get down here? We can go there. That side's going to be okay, I think. We go there, can we get behind? I don't know if I can actually get behind it. Uh, we don't have any mesh bases. Let's see, can we buy a full amount? We can, good, that'll work. I want it to be on that side, but right, let's throw you up there rid of that, bring that down like that, then we should be able to, yeah, go behind. That's better. Right, and then just run that all the way down. So one, two, three, four, and then five is there. Obviously this is, I'm not going to say it's purely cosmetic, but it does have obviously a reason why it's there but we need to dig out that a little bit more to get that to work all right never mind that'll do throw some more conveyors in can minimize a little bit no room around this side of the machine it's only the one side we've got room so we'll come back and we'll dig that side out as well. Right, and then we should be able to, yeah, I think we should be able to put one then, maybe. Not 100% sure. Right, so Let's straighten this thing back up. Still, we'll see now it's now it's going over the side a little bit. Is it because I'm where I'm running? No, it shouldn't be where I'm running. We fine though. We don't have to stress too much about it. it. Might be a little bit too far to the right, but it's not too bad. We can actually move it to the left, and then can we back out? can back out and dig backwards which not realistic at all but if it works it works right then straight ourselves back up again come back uh, oh, there we go so why are you not letting me level it out there we go 
I think now we're in rock. I think that's a bit of rock there, which is good. Maybe even a bit of coal. All right. Let's get this roof protected again. And obviously, we will still blast like we have been doing previously. Exactly the same way as we've always done. Same way uh, Nick does it, split in two. I mean, why change when it's not broken, I suppose? But yeah, I don't think we're still wide enough. Maybe I need to sit right on this edge. All right, let's run down and have a look. Let's see. Get rid of some of this extra stuff. Knock these balls in. Yep, yeah, still processing. Let's have a look what we've got over here. We've got some gravel going in, which is good. Got some dirt, ruby, coal, jadeite, diamond. Good. Everything's working properly. I don't think we're going to get a massive amount of income out of this, but it honestly can't hurt. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five there. Four, five there. One, two, three, four. And the next one's five, but we're going to have to come back and move over a little bit. Move over right to the side of the conveyor belt. Yeah, like that. And then we'll dig through. Hopefully that'll give us just enough space. Need to move to the left a little bit. Yeah, that's giving us just enough room, I think. Stay on the edge of the conveyor belt, then it should be fine. Right, I think um, the machine that we use the same. We use exactly the same machine at our other mine. I just changed the tracks, so anything that sort of looks different is the tracks. Everything else should be the same. Right, so I think we'll get to the end here. We'll shore this up. Um, I think we should go back to the other end. We'll dig the right hand side and then put in a blast. I think that's something we really need to do. So go right back to the start. Sit right on the edge of the conveyor belt and we'll um, go back forward. So the wood doesn't look too bad on the side, but as I said, it doesn't look like a um, very. It doesn't say it looks. It doesn't look very supportive. It doesn't look how I think it would in real life. Like they'll be using solid timber, not little bits of timber stuck together. If you know what I mean. All right, so let's go forward from here all the way to the end. And then hopefully, we'll quickly set up a blast. We'll let the blast off and um, call it an episode. So I probably will do a lot more time lapses, I guess, with this series. Um, obviously, the initial setup of the mine. But then we will throw in, you know, time lapses and stuff. Just so we can get a bit more progress done a little bit quicker. definitely digging really well just a, it's so slow maybe it could go 2k's an hour instead of one but in saying that like it's it's fine now I'm not sure if I want to blast a solid eight meters in this or if we just want to do the normal six meter blast so we'd get a run down the center both above both conveyors straight in the middle which will give us three meters either side and obviously those mesh panels are two meters wide so from the center of that mesh panel to the far left of the mesh panel three meters and same from the right one to the right one overlap by a meter in the middle it should give us a pretty good finish to the actual mine it may blast a bit of a hole in the roof here but that's fine I think yeah we're definitely in some solid rock there Hopefully that continues. 
Right, obviously I'd like to see a little bit more work done with these machines, but that will come. Still really, really early access. Like the material coming along the belt would be good, like a little screen, like a camera at the back, camera at the front on the digger head, proper buttons on the panel, proper controls, but obviously this is just the basic, very, very early start of this machine. It will change. It will change quite a bit as um, Christian gets more and more time to sort of upgrade things. In saying that, it's still a beautiful looking machine from the outside. So we're not too far away. Hopefully we've got enough money for some dynamite. So once again, I think the most expensive part's going to be conveyors. So we can work out how many conveyors we've brought. How much money we've spent on those. And then we can sort of work out if we're making money or not. As I said, we want to go nine wide. We're currently four wide. So what I would do is this conveyor on the... We're running our left track down now. Conveyor to the right. I'll do a similar thing to what we've done just up here. i will put a an up and a left turn and dump it. And then the one next to it the same. Up, left turn, dump it. And then it'll end up having, you know, conveyors all the way along and then we'll remove them and put proper normal blocks in right I don't know if there is a um, if there's not a shutdown button because it seems like it still keeps bloody running alright so once again we will uh, get this short up on this side Uh, that one and that one. Gets that one and that one. Yeah, beautiful. Get those bases put on and then we'll get the wood put behind it. As I said, it's, I'm not 100% sure on if I like the wood or not, but it's cheaper than concrete and we're going to treat it as like a removable where wood's more removable so we can actually move it from different parts of the mine and to reuse it. Obviously this looks like, I don't know what you call them, 2 before's, 4 before's stacked on top of each other. Depending where you're from I guess, it just depends on what you call it. Alright, now we're going to need these guys run down the side as well. Uh, let's go there, so get that started, come back to here. This is one that I always sort of struggle with. You should be able to fast click and run, but sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Yep, it's like I just start going too fast. Right, that's 26, perfect. Gonna have a couple left over by the time we get to the end. Uh, we stop putting them in the wrong spot, it'll be even better. This is gonna be Actually, a very long episode. We're already probably further than I wanted to be at this stage, but it's fine. I know you guys won't mind at all. All right, so that one can go. That one can go. Not that it really matters. We can go back in there. Uh, let's buy some explosives. Don't even know how much money we have, but I, ooh, we don't even have six grand. How much do we have? Two k. Uh, let's go 30. Should should not be more than 30, I wouldn't think. Right, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, 15. We're going to need another... Uh, let's go another 8. Can we afford another 8? No. How much money do we have? 59 bucks. Right, I might need to, to sell a little bit of stuff. Maybe just the dirt. We don't really care about the dirt. We'll sell the dirt and hopefully have enough money. Uh, sell, yeah, 11.6k. We should have more than enough. Buy explosives. Eight. Done. All 
Right, get this. I think that should be enough if I count it properly. Yes, perfect. All right, now let's start taking all of this roof back out. Yeah, there's definitely a rock seam there. Actually, that's not rock. That's just um. This is the snow, I think. Yeah, definitely not rock. I think this is this is definitely rock though. That's still dirt. That's definitely rock. All right, let's come back and set off this blast. Beautiful. Hopefully, I'm going to try and push all this down from the sides. Problem is, when you go too far back, it starts to um, blend in with the wall here. We need to try and push these voxels forward. So as you can see, they don't blend in near as much, but obviously, we can just re dig it anyway, so that's fine. Alright, get rid of this. We're still getting a little bit coming up. I didn't think we'd get any of that, but. Right, so run down the sides just to try and knock these guys in. We go, perfect. Ooh, there's a little bit there. That's fine. Alright, so obviously we usually have to go down and just smooth that out a little bit. We need to remove it, not smooth it. Otherwise it's going to come forward and not go backwards where it needs to go. Right, awesome. And then we can obviously add. I think we need to go up two. No, just to there. But then we're sort of. Yeah, I feel like we need to go one higher. To there. Yeah, that's definitely better. That's not even lined up properly. Whoops. Alright, uh, let's drop that back. Just enough to expose where we need to click. Good, let's throw the wood support in if we can do it properly. Right, same as this side, and then obviously we'll support the hallway along wides the sorry the sides and the roof as well and come further forward. So two more one more there. Drop that back a little bit, drop that back a little bit. And it's gonna take a little bit of time to obviously fully support it. But I guess now that we've um Got those supports and we don't really need to like take away from here. Sort of happy with that all I said I don't think we can really we actually go like that all the way along that probably looks a bit silly I think. Right, so I need to shore all that up but we finished processing yet, we're still processing. Alright, we're going to take all these out. Beautiful. As I said, I want to go way wider than this, so... May need to widen it up enough so we can get another two conveyors in. And sort of start widening out now before we go too far in. Now that in saying that, I'd really like to be able to get in far enough so that way we can actually start finding some rock, hopefully. Like, I don't know if there's going to be rock in here at all, if there's going to be coal, if there's going to be anything like that, because I haven't done any exploration at all. Just don't know. I think that looks like coal there. 
Right, yeah, we'll shore that up off camera. Get it all done. Right, let's have a look. So we're still producing. Gonna run through here. We actually got yeah, got a little bit of gravel in there, not a great deal. So I don't know. I don't think we're gonna get much out of our blast either. Two point four k is not bad. I'm not gonna stress too much about waiting for it to completely finish. Let's sell what we've got. Ruby, gold, jade, diamond. I don't know if this is tons. That's 127k. That's not a bad start at all. To be honest, that's pretty good. And then 500 gravel, another 13k. So 150k. We've got a little bit of money in the bank. Um, if we work out 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, say 8. 8, 16 straight conveyors costs us 92,000. So we're we're definitely ahead by like 60k and still processing. So whatever we may get from here is obviously just on top. But right out guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of the series. We'll throw in a time lapse for next episode and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Ben Brito, thanks for watching. See you again soon.